So over the past few days guys, I've spoken on how to be consistent in going to gym or if you're doing your keto diet or any diet in formula you're using. But I want to give these three tips which I, I think is the most um, very common one which you should be doing if you're trying to um, help yourself in this aspect which I've been talking about for the um, past few days. All right. So number one tips, I've been talking about it is to start slow and you progress slowly and you should not just go and you want to do something so huge at a time it is a gradual process that is why if you compare yourself like you're growing up you started from year one you started from year two age three age four age five age six gradually you get if you're 25 now or you're 30 now that you started counting from one two three and if you go from your academic progression you started from class one class two class three that is how it happens in life guys so what do you have to do when you go to the gym if you see those people who are lifting heavy weights tell yourself i'll be there i'm coming soon wait for me but don't go and do what they are doing try to start gradually try to start from the lesser weights check your one repetition maximum check where you are then you start from there and you progress gradually so that you will not have because if you um, go to gym and you do something so strenuous you will be very demotivated number one you might sustain injury number two and it will um, stop you from coming to gym again you will not want to repeat that gym something that gym idea and same goes to diet don't just say i want to start keto diet and you go and change all your food stock and you change them to keto guys start gradually <laughs> start eating keto little by little before you know it you'll be used to it and you switch without even thinking about it too much right so number one take it slow number two step find your why why am i going to gym what is the reason for going to gym if you don't have a reason of doing something you you're just like somebody who is following somebody and if the person changes his direction you want to change your direction too because you don't have that reason of doing what you're doing find your why why am i doing this what is the benefit of this in my life why try to find your why it's very important make yourself accountable in the gym if you're going to gym and you you're doing some exercise make yourself accountable am i getting used to this is this am i uh, like you know something like that ask yourself some questions like if can i do this like some people they just go to gym and they'll just stay in uh, stage one like i, I know you, you're starting slow right but make yourself accountable in aspect of after that stage one try to move go to stage two go to stage stage three ask yourself question like this gym i'm coming to am i getting the benefits which i want am i doing am i getting what my why is standing for most people are coming to the gym just to keep shape most ladies they want to try their belly fat look sexy most guys they want to be muscular look more handsome and charming so you have to meet your goal most people are just coming to burn fat so that they will not have um illness like diabetes and hypertension etc so you have to know that your why that your why should be strong and you make yourself accountable am i getting my benefits i have a patient who every we used to do exercise but every day he checks his body weight if he's losing weight our goal is for him to meet up to the expectation because he works in a company and he according to the model before you'll be um, moving due to his working system you need some specific amount of weight all right so he's always checking himself to make sure that he's meeting that is the exercise we are doing meeting his requirements his need his why it's very important guys do that all right and the last one i'll say reward yourself like you're starting the gym you're starting slow stage one tell yourself if i get to stage three i'll take myself out for a dinner a nice steak or something then once you get to that stage three do it reward yourself stage four you reward yourself you feel more happy to do what you're doing All right so this is just a few tips i want to explain more better for those people who are not consistent in gym just do these few tips i think it it will be helpful.